Hello and welcome. This is Shreya and you are watching Peace News International. Let's start the bulletin. The Brahma Kumaris in St. Petersburg commemorated India's Independence Day and Raksha Bandhan with impactful events highlighting purity and unity. On August 15, BK Santosh Didi, the director of Brahma Kumaris in St. Petersburg, along with BK students, participated in the official flag hoisting ceremony at the Consul General of India. Following President of India Srimati Draupadi Murmu's address, attendees engaged in meaningful exchanges with consulate staff, the local Indian community, and retired police officers from India. Later that day, BK Santosh Didi offered blessings at a grand reception hosted by consulate at K2, the Russian government event hall. The celebration continued on August 18 at Lighthouse with the event A Thread of Purity and Protection, which explored India's achievements and current challenges. In a profound talk on the three dimensions of true freedom, Santosh Didi emphasized that true freedom is unattainable with mental pain, ill feelings and poverty. These are born from the major vices of lust, anger, greed and ego. God, our Supreme Father, offers to transform these into virtues. The Consul General Mr. Kumar Gaurav emphasized that Raksha Bandhan's spirit of love and care could help resolve global conflicts. Guests participated in a Rakhi Tank ceremony reflecting on personal transformation in a serene and contemplative atmosphere. Despite the ongoing conflict and daily challenges of war, including shelling, restricted electricity and air raid sirens, the Brahma Kumari celebrated the 78th anniversary of India's independence at the Indian Ambassador's residence in Kyiv, Ukraine. The event also featured a meeting with the newly appointed Ambassador of India to Ukraine, Mr. Ravi Shankar. The director of Brahma Kumaris Texas in USA, BK Dr. Hansa Didi, recently tied Rakhi to the Consul General of India in Houston and senior consular officers, introducing them to the Supreme Soul and updating them on Brahma Kumari services in Texas. The Consul General was introduced to learn of Dr. Hansa Didi's unique background as a retired U.S. Army colonel and oncologist. Joining the event were Sister Megan and Brother Mark. Impressed by the presentation, the Consul General expressed his intention to visit the center and experience meditation. On August 17, 2024, the 79th Independence Day of the Republic of Indonesia was celebrated with a grand flag hoisting ceremony at the Brahma Kumaris Peace House in Denpasar, Bali. Around 80 people were present on this occasion to honor the independence of the nation. The ceremony began with the hoisting of country's flag. After this, tribute was paid to the heroes who fought for the freedom of the nation by observing a minute silence. The proclamation text was also read out loud, reawakening the spirit of independence among those present. After the formal ceremony, the event turned into a celebration with a series of entertaining competitions that promoted joy among all the present. The occasion was especially graced by BK members of Godlywood Studio, Brahma Kumari's international headquarters in India, including BK Sister Shikha, the in charge of audio department, Om Shanti Channel, Music Godlywood, and Punjabi Department of Godlywood Studio. This entire program took place in Bali in the divine presence of Rama Kumari's director BK Janaki Didi. For the information, let us tell you, Janaki Didi, who reached Indonesia from India, has been propagating the godly knowledge of Rama Kumari's World Spiritual University in Bali for many decades. The benefit of which are being availed by hundreds of natives of Indonesia. You see, we all love God and we remember God in so many ways. We pray to Him in so many ways, but one of the most ancient and the most beautiful way is to remember God in the formless form. 
During a fruitful one-week visit to Myanmar, BK Shilu Didi from Headquarter Mount Tabo, India and BK Indra Behan conducted a series of impactful programs that strengthened cultural ties and celebrated the spirit of Raksha Bandhan. The visit highlighted significant interactions with Indian dignitaries and local communities showcasing a successful blend of spiritual and cultural exchanges. The highlights of the visit were BK Shilu Didi and BK Indra Ben had the honor of meeting the ambassador of India, Mr. Abhay Thakur and his wife at India House. In a gesture of goodwill and tradition, Didi tied Rakhi to the ambassador and his wife, marking a moment of cross-culture solidarity. Also, a prominent VIP event was held at Yagon Center attended by a distinguished guest including Mr. Lalit Kumar, the Second Secretary of the Indian Embassy, Dr. Ashish K. Kandwe, the President of the Swami Vivekanand Cultural Center, Ms. Roli Jain, the Director of 4R Consultancy and Mr. Ravindra Jain, the President of the Global Organization of Indian Origin. During this program, Didi tied Rakhi to all the BK brothers and sisters present, fostering a sense of unity and spiritual connections. Another Raksha Bandhan program was held at the Fayu Retreat Center in Myanmar, where Didi tied Rakhi to around 350 BK brothers and sisters and explained to them the significance of Raksha Bandhan and its spiritual secrets. All the programs were executed successfully. This week-long engagement in Myanmar has strengthened cultural bonds and underscored the enduring significance of traditional values and spiritual practices. Anubhuti Meditation and Retreat Center California recently hosted a transformative three-day retreat focused on exploring spiritual powers and their practical applications in daily life. The retreat held in Novato, California was guided by the esteemed Raj Yoga teacher and author Sister Judy Johnson from Halifax, Canada. Participants from across the United States and Canada gathered for this enriching experience which featured a variety of activities such as meditation sessions, silent reflection periods, group discussions and spiritual walks designed to foster deep reflection and spiritual growth. In addition to Sister Judy's guidance, Anubhuti co-director Sister Elizabeth and program coordinator Sister Vishali also contributed to the retreat by leading additional meditation sessions. Their support ensured a holistic and supportive environment for all participants. The retreat was met with positive feedback from attendees who appreciated the opportunity to explore and integrate spiritual practices into their daily life. That's all for now. Thanks for watching our broadcast today. We hope that you found our coverage informative and valuable. Join us again next time for more news and updates on events around the world. Until then, take care and goodbye.